Hey, it's Jody. I have a new video for Confessions of a Paper Addict. Today I am using the Arrow Background Cut File. There you see I have it in white cardstock. I am using Echo Parks. It's my birthday collection. Super cute collection. So colorful. My little guy just turned five, so I had to dig into it. And I thought I'd try something a little different for me. So I am trying what I've heard is called the peekaboo technique, where you kind of fill in the cut file um, on the inside. I've seen it done with one large um, shape. I've seen it done with, um, you know, a word title. You know, these are kind of big elements. So I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out with all these smaller um, arrow elements. But I give it a, sh I give it a try. And um, I, I like how it turns out. I think it, I think it was neat. It's different for me. Um, and it did take a little time. I, I was, um, you know, trying to make it pleasing to my eye, not put the same colors next to each other. Um, different shapes, different colors, different heights, textures. Um, but I think it works out. It. I first used some of the stickers. It was actually a banner piece and then I just cut it out, cut each little banner um, to stick underneath. And I'm going through the die cut packs and pull a few things out. I, I don't want to fill the whole space, um, but I definitely want to cover up most of it. So, um, so I do, I go through and take a little time to do this. I am, um, I did not get all of the collection, um, but the, but it does come with these stickers and the die cut pack. And I did actually grab the six by six paper pad that comes in very handy for when you're trying to back a photo. So, so now I'm just finding, um, some other elements. I, I try to put two or three things into a little, into each little section. Um, no, I, 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 like I said, I think it works out. It does take some time. That cute little spinner from a game. <laughs> I think it's adorable. A little balloon animal. Um, so I hope, I hope you, tr you see what I'm trying to do. Um, I think it, it turns out fine at the end. Um, but it was, it was challenging. It was different for me, but, um, I gave it my best shot. So we'll see, we'll see how you feel about it. So that I'm sticking in some presents, some balloons, some party hats. There's lots of cute little things on this, um, sticker sheet. I've added some foam behind a few things. I um I start to put in the little the little ribbon or you know Yeah, I guess it's ribbon or confetti, I don't know. Just for a few more small details. I know I'm going to put my picture where that shorter arrow is so I know I leave him blank and the one adjacent or across from it I leave blank also there's a few more 
presents, another party hat that has a little foam on him. This little noisemaker, I just could not get to work. <laughs> um, it was just a funny size, so I put him back for a for another layout and the candle. A candle wasn't working for me either. There's those little ribbon. <laughs> Please, somebody tell me what they're called. <laughs> And then it has some, you know, little, little circles around. So I add those also. So I'm pretty happy with how filled up my spaces are. Um, but I still think it needs something. I'm... And I'm not sure what. So I do take a break. I think about it and then I come I come back to it. You can see how funny it looks without the, <laughs> without the cup file on it. So here I tape down the background or yes, the page and I pick some colors from my acrylic paints and I decide to just go for it and just paint right on top of the page. Now, I, I didn't find a green I liked. Some kind, I was bummed about that. Um, and if I planned a little better, I wouldn't have had to use another stripe of red. But it's too much thinking for me. So I just went for it. And... Um, and yeah, I, um, I use several pads of paper to uh, kind of flatten it out because I did nothing. I, I did nothing to this page. So, <laughs> and the buckling doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. It's going to eventually go into a photo album. So, um, I think it's fine. So I have the red, yellow, orange. I find um, one of the lighter blues. I think I make it work. And then the dark blue. And then I do put another stripe of red. And I, I want them close, but I don't really want them blending into each other. So I do take my time. It's not perfect, and that's okay with me. I love that dark blue color. Um, and I just have so much fun with it. It was like, it was like trying to put together a puzzle. So here I go with one more stripe of red. And of course, if I planned a little better, it would have just been the five. <laughs> and I peel him up. I wish he didn't bleed so much or I probably would have used that um, background again. But there it is. I actually fill in between the red and the dark blue a little bit. So there, there's my peekaboo background with colored stripes. I think the arrows just really come alive with all that color. There's the six by six pad. Um, that I use to layer behind my pictures. I I definitely don't feel as bad cutting to cutting into a six by six for layering. And my little guy was so excited for his hot fudge Sunday. We actually spent several days celebrating his birthday at Universal Studios Hollywood. 
I have um, some leftover foam that I'm going to finish because why not? And I know it doesn't need too much more because of all of the things that are going on. I do pick a cute scripty font um, that just says happy birthday. And just a few die cuts here and there and a few more stickers. And I really, really enjoyed working on this. It was quite the process. Um, and I rarely have to stop and come back to a project. But I think it was, it was definitely worth some extra thinking. That cute hippo. <laughs> it says hippo birthday. And um, the happy birthday I did not add extra glue to, so we'll see how, how well it sticks. I do want to fill in that empty space where the orange and the light blue meet. I do find a little banner for the bottom. And some ice creams. I thought worked well since he is having an ice cream treat. I find I find another little banner that says birthday boy that I pop up. Just makes the perfect little cluster. I add I add a little animal balloon. He's so cute. Felt like it needed to be yellow because the yellow stripe is on the other side. So I brought that in. And the last thing I do is add some white splatters. I um, I hope you are enjoying all the new March releases. And I hope you're trying all the birthday challenges. I know Virginia and the team are definitely enjoying all these cut files and seeing what the Facebook group comes up with. So stop by the shop, get you some new cut files, come join us, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.